welcome back. Thank you for joining me for today's video. Happy Valentine's Day if you're watching this on the day that it goes live. Um, I'm in a different place today. I'm not in a different place, I'm in my house, but I'm in mine and Charlie's bedroom instead of the room next door where I usually do my filming just because that room is a total and utter bomb site. So hope you don't mind the new surroundings. I am not okay with the lighting in this video. I've got my usual spotlights either side and I see so many YouTubers being like, oh, I'm sorry for the lighting and actually their lighting is perfect, but I feel like today it's just a little bit harsh. It's rainy outside um, and I feel like the lighting is just not doing my face shape any favors. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just round. I'm like the moon, I don't know. Anyway, so today I thought I would talk to you about some new in products from the drugstore, from Boots, from Superdrug, all those kinds of places. I've done new in videos before and they've gone down really well, you guys seem to really like them, but I do tend to get carried away and in the past I think they've been about half an hour long, so I really didn't want to do that this time. I thought, you know what, I'm just going to choose like four or five of my favourite launches and I'm going to whittle it down even more by just doing the drugstore. So that's what today's video is going to be. But also there are so many lovely, lovely pieces that have been launched on the luxury side of things. So I'm also going to do a new in um, luxury version of this video, which I'm probably going to put up on Wednesday. So if that's your thing, then definitely check out Wednesday's video. So as I said, I don't want this video to be super long, so I'm going to get cracking. And I have only got um, maybe four or five things which are launching or have launched in the drugstore this month. And the first one that I wanted to tell you about is actually a range, so not just a product, but a new range. And I actually went to a L'Oreal pop-up um, in Soho this week and got a blow-dry done by them. In fact, this is day three of the blow-dry, so it's still not looking too bad. Um, and basically L'Oreal Elviv are launching a new range called Extraordinary Clay. And I don't think I've ever really mentioned a new hair care launch in a new in video before, just because nothing's really been so amazing that it's kind of warranted mentioning. Like, there are so many things I love using on my hair, but this I thought was a really exciting launch. Firstly, because it's got clay in it, and I love clay in my skincare routine, I love clay masks, but I never would have considered putting clay in my hair before. And what this does, as I learnt at the pop-up, is that the clay basically absorbs any excess oils and prevents oils, um, or like, you know, the kind of sebum that you're... Yeah, it's kind of a little bit gross. But basically, the top of your hair can be a little bit oily and the ends can be dry. This is a problem that quite a lot of girls, and definitely myself, suffer from. And the clay just helps to regulate that out. So this is a pre-shampoo treatment. This is the main, um, the main product that I'm really impressed with in the range. And it basically, you apply it before you shampoo onto dry hair, just onto the scalp, and it really helps to absorb all those excess oils. So I don't know about you, but sometimes when I wash my hair, even when it's freshly washed and I blow dry it, it's still really like heavy up here and you can kind of just like feel like there's loads of products. Whereas after my L'Oreal blow dry with the new LV of clay, I really didn't feel that. It was so light. In fact, I vlogged, um, I vlogged the blow dry, so um, I will link that vlog down below if you want to see my, my first impressions. But this is out now in Superdrug and Boots, I do believe, um, and probably online as well. So I'll leave links down below to this. I just thought for um, a relatively inexpensive treatment, this did such a good job and it's so nice to see the cheaper side of a range doing the innovation instead of it just going into the super expensive ranges and then filtering down. So really liking this, um, first impressions were really good and I'm looking forward to adding this into my maybe weekly hair care pamper routine. So sticking with L'Oreal but away from hair care and onto makeup, they have created a new range called the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt. I'm really struggling to hold all of this, I'm going to put it down. Um, basically, they teamed up with Makeup by Mario for an incredible launch event a couple of weeks ago, which I was really gutted I missed because of flight delays coming back from Costa Rica. But they launched this new makeup range which is all about contouring and just sculpting every part of your makeup routine. I actually did a little first impressions of all of these products over on my Snapchat, so definitely make sure you're following me on Snapchat if you want to see me kind of like opening up blogger mail and trying things out for the very first time. Um, this is basically like my genuine first impressions, so I'll leave my Snapchat details here so you can follow me if that's the kind of thing that you like to see and also opening up lots of different packages. Um, but the first thing that I tried from the range was this, and it's a new L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt Foundation. This is available now and it's 8 dollars which is a very kind of average 
price for a drugstore foundation. What I loved about this, and I've got to say that my skin is really strange at the moment, it's quite a combination, it can be dry, it can be oily, but this I found went onto my skin really, really easily, blended super quickly, which is exactly what you want, you just don't want to be spending hours with a buffing brush or anything, and it gave a really lovely flawless base, so the kind of base that you really want to have um, if you are going to be doing some contouring because it just gives you a really even place to start. The next thing that I tried out was this, and it is the Infallible Sculpt Contouring Palette 2-in-1 Highlight and Contour. Now inside you get the two different shades in cream format, I think they have a medium and a light shade, not sure if they have a dark, perhaps I just wasn't sent that one because it would be much too dark for my skin. But previously I've been a little bit phobic of cream contours and I've always feared that they're going to make my face look dirty and therefore just worse than if I didn't put anything on. So I went quite lightly with this and I found that it was very buildable, which of course is great if you're not necessarily the most confident when it came to contouring. Um, I used, I'm not sure if I just said this, I used my Real Technique contour brush just to um, slowly build it up and I did find that it was very easy to do. I was so impressed with just the ease and the fact that it didn't make my face look dirty and I think it's great if you are kind of a contouring beginner and you just don't want anything too bold. The highlight colour as well is nice and sheer, so really good for just building up a lovely contour but not going too crazy if it is your first time. I then tried the blusher and I was quite overwhelmed with how strong this came out on the brush. I wasn't expecting a drugstore blusher to have quite this much pigment, so I did end up looking like very rosy cheeked when I first tried this. This is the shade 102 Nude Beige. I have got another couple um, somewhere, but this was definitely, oh here we go, um, there's a more of a girly pink one, this is 201 Soft Rosy, but the Nude Beige was the one that I found, just seemed to go best with my skin tone. Very blendable, again very sheer, very buildable, but I would be beware of overloading your brush, definitely tap it off and maybe test it a little bit on your wrist before you go onto your face, because as I said, the colour payoff of this is pretty incredible. This is going to be $7.99, which I think is maybe a little bit pricey for a blush, although you do have those nice three shades in there, and it did last a very long time. Some drugstore blushes I find you look in the mirror a couple of hours later, and you can't really tell you've put anything on, whereas this definitely stood the test of time. So when I opened up this, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt Brow, artist up on Snapchat, I was just very amazed that it had such a strange looking nib, I'm not sure if you can see this, but the applicator is really really quite, um, it looks quite angry, I don't really know how to describe it, but basically you use the pointy part of it to fill in any gaps and then the brush to really shape the arch um, and add in a little bit of volume, you can even back comb it a little bit. I have to say I do prefer a pencil to this kind of applicator just because I like to fill in the individual brow hairs and make it look as though I've drawn in actual hairs whereas this is good if you already have a really good solid shape and you just want to add a little bit more depth to the brow. I think I would probably spend a little bit more and get the pencil and the brow gel just because I feel like this is almost trying to be too clever and doing a little bit too much but I mean, that's just for my brows, but if you just want to have a little bit more colour and shape, then definitely worth a try. Also in the Infallible Sculpt collection is a mascara and an eyeliner, but I'm going to whiz over those and instead just finish by telling you about these, which are the new Infallible Matte Max, I think is the name, uh, lip powders. So these give a matte finish to your lips, like a matte lipstick would, but instead of having like oil and wax ingredients, they are powder which does mean that they are not so drying on the lips because they are literally just applied onto your lips and there's no ingredients that suck out the moisture and they have really good lasting power. I used a nude colour um, yesterday actually, I popped it on at 8 o'clock in the morning, I had breakfast, I had coffee and then at the end of lunch I checked my makeup and it was still in place, so really impressed with the lasting power. I think for $6.99 these are incredible value and the shade selection is really lovely, they've got a nude as I said, um, a fuchsia, a purple, a bright red, so I'm really looking forward to trying out a few more colours of the Matte Max lip powders. So this next launch is something that I'm really excited about and I'm wearing them right now and it's a range of new pre-glued eyelashes from Ilia and these are called their Express by Ilia Lashes. I think there are eight different types and they're out now exclusively to Superdrug and as I said pre-glued lashes which means they're super duper quick and easy to apply. I find the longest part of applying lashes is when you have to really fiddly kind of draw on the glue and then wait for it to semi set before you apply it. Whereas this has got a new formulation of glue already on the lashes so all you have to do is trim them to shape and then apply. Honestly it took me less than a minute to do both lashes whereas I'd say previously it would take me about five minutes in total to do both. So I can definitely confirm that they are very quick and easy. 
You guys know me, I'm already a huge fan of Eyelier Lashes, so the fact that they have made them so quick and easy to do is just really fantastic for me. I do like to wear lashes quite regularly if there's any kind of special occasion, like I've got them on today because I'm filming and then going out to cinema with Charlie later. I know it's dark and I'm going to be wearing 3D glasses, but hey ho, I just love to wear them. And I just think that the fact they've made it so easy means that I'm going to be wearing these a hell of a lot more. There's so many types of lashes, ranging from really, really natural ones, I mean this is really barely there so if you just want to add a little bit more definition to a daytime look and then you've got some really lengthening ones this would give a really fluttery kind of doe-eyed look you've got some beautiful bold ones and some very texturized ones as well so really a lash to cover every type of lash preference what kind of society is this that we have lash preferences i mean it's, it's getting pretty crazy but i'm definitely not going to complain and these apparently have 15 hour plus wear so I've worn lashes for many many hours in the past I'm not sure 15 hours but I will um, wear these for the rest of the day and let you know how I get on the next launch that I wanted to tell you about is one that I got really really excited about and this is the new Batiste Sweet and Delicious Dry Shampoo so it's just a normal dry shampoo but the reason why I'm so excited about it is because it has love hearts on the tin and yeah, I don't know if that's another reason to get excited about something, but I have a bit of an obsession with love hearts. If you watched my 50 facts about me video, you'll know that when I was younger I used to make jewellery that looked like sweeties. Sorry if you can hear my phone going off, it's kind of email pinging, just turn on silent. Um, yeah, I used to make jewellery that looked like sweeties and I used to make love heart bracelets. So it's a bit of a deja vu blast from the past. Um, and I really like Batiste Dry Shampoo, so I thought I'd give that a quick mention. This is out in Superdrug and probably Boots as well now. Another launch, which I think I also vlogged the launch event, is the new Spring Summer Collection from Barry M. So Barry M hosted a really lovely afternoon tea at the Ivy with Lucy Mecklenburg from TOWIE, who is their new kind of face of the brand. Um, and what they did was they just hosted a lovely tea and we could look at the new collection. They have a new contour palette, they have new eyeshadow palettes, they just um, were launching all their new products but what I got most excited about was their new range of Sunset Daylight Curing Nail Varnishes. You guys probably know that I'm already a huge fan of this range, I nearly always have that lovely deep burgundy colour on my toes um, but I just needed to show you guys this colour because it is the perfect Barbie pink. I'm surprised I don't have it on my nails at the moment because I've been wearing it so much recently and I just love that they've made it not just part of their normal range but part of their sunset range because this if you aren't already aware basically it's like gel but without any need for UV this top coat when used with the rest of the sunset daylight curing um, range makes your nails last for a really long time lovely high gloss but without the faff of putting on and taking off gel nail varnish love the packaging as well just really gorgeous colors with rose gold lids and you guys know me and my love for rose gold so i had to tell you about that the rest of the Ariane range is beautiful but this has got to be my favorite new launch for their spring summer collection and last but not least i wanted to tell you a little bit about this which is a new beauty launch from clean and clear so clean and clear i used to use when i was younger when i was suffering from breakouts but i kind of haven't really thought about them for a little while because my skin's skin has been getting a bit better but when they launched this i just absolutely had to try it and it's basically a tinted moisturizer which has all these ingredients in it which really work to unclog the skin it doesn't it's a makeup but it doesn't clog up the pores when you wear it and it has spot fighting ingredients which for me just ticks so many boxes even when you are a little bit older, when you're out of like the teenage years, you can still get congested skin. In fact, I did a whole video on what I do when I do have bad skin. I particularly suffer from congestion around the jawline, but what I have been doing on those days when I've been working from home is just applying this so I don't feel quite so scary, I don't scare myself when I look in the mirror. It does give a lovely amount of coverage, maybe not quite enough for when I go out, and I've filmed within my bad skin routine video more of a um, a going out kind of makeup look but if you just wanted to cover up a few of your blemishes maybe for school or on those days when you don't want a full makeup look then I have just been absolutely loving using this recently I think it's so good that finally there's a product out there that really does help to heal the spots as well as covering them up so a really good multitasking product clean and clear I mean you guys probably everyone's probably used clean and clear in the past and you can trust when it comes to spot fighting so I thought I'd give that a little mention um, just because I think it's such a really really useful product and one that works so hurrah and so that's it that is my little selection of new end products for the drugstore for the month of February 
All of these, as far as I'm aware, are out and available to buy now, so I will leave links down below if I can find any, although drugstore links are normally quite hard to find. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out Wednesdays if you'd like to see some beautiful new products which have been bought out on the slightly more higher end side of things because there are so many gorgeous ones. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, and I know that I've only covered like a few here, so definitely leave me a comment if you've tried anything from the drugstore recently which is a new favourite or a new launch, because I'd love to know what you guys are loving at the moment. So that's all from me, I will see you very soon, bye!